We are facing the challenge. Challenge is right in front of you, knocking your door every day, waking you up every night, uh, disturbing your meditation every moment, but still we don't know what that is. We are looking for, what is my problem? <laughs> you know, three years, I could not find anything. <laughs> three months, that's better. That's worse. <laughs> Shorter time. But it's knocking your, your door, right? Is you knocking your door, you're waking up in the night, you see, so somehow, then I say, then what is your challenge? If you have to pinpoint down, what is your challenge? If, some, if the God came and says, I'm going to take your problem right away, you have only half an hour to tell me what is that. <laughs> right? What do you would to say? So in some sense, it's more like uh, remembering what was my last conversation with somebody. I was what I was talking with that person. Oh, yeah, that that was a problem there. So you look at that pattern. What was the last meeting? What was the most challenging about last meeting? Oh, yeah, I recognize that. So you 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 look at your uh, actions of your life, in which you suffered, which which you faced challenges. It tells right there. And then when you look at it, that's the way you catch it. And then you look at that and you trace back for three years, you can clearly see the patterns. But sometimes to just kind of get it, and that's a little bit harder somehow. Somehow it seems a little bit harder. A friend of mine told me that he said he asked some, sometimes his patients, what's your problem right now? Right now, right now, what is your problem? My, 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 my problem right now? Right now? Hmm? I don't think that I have. Right? The problem is not finding one. <laughs> so, so, so sometimes it's just, it's just recognizing in the situation, just being more conscious about it, more aware of that. So that's helpful. Interaction with people, people complaining. If your people are complaining about something, and then you can say, instead of saying, why are you complaining to me? Think about, thank you, this is what I was looking through the meditation for last three years, three months, I cannot find it. Thank you for helping me, <laughs> or something like that, no? Who, there's no question. Even all those things are happening, why all this thing happening, to whom it's happening, that question we don't ask. When you're in a conflict with somebody, deep conflict with somebody, you look at, look at now, if you are in conflict with somebody, deep, medium, light conflict with somebody, look at that. Your first thing is, it's about the person that you're thinking all the time. The lowest category of ref way of reflecting, weakest, lowest, is only focus on the other person. Intermediate, is focusing on a situation and interactions. What happened? What did I do? What did he did? She did? Oh, this is what happened there. <coughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I would not have done that if she did not do that. Oh, I did that wrong, but she did that. Oh, first. Okay. It's like a, me and her, me and him. Or like <laughs> first one, worst one is no. No interaction, no me. Her. Problem. Incredible. Incredible person. That change incredible person to us. The highest way of reflection, ref a way of reflecting on something, it's who. Why? Why I did do that? Why I did that action? Why I did say that? Why I did feel that? 
why I have those thoughts. Who is it? Deeper reflecting on deeper stories, wounds, weakness, and recognizing something, and actually having compassion to that. That's like a more self-compassion. The awareness of reflecting deeper within yourself, that awareness is real compassion. Because that awareness is real healer. Then, of course, you can feel some sense of care, warmth, motherly quality toward your own inner wound. So it's very much like a who. And when who, in that sense, that wound, it's clear, then that, that, that like Stan saying, the space of the attachment does opens up. And when the space of the attachment does opens up, what, what do you expect to come out of that space? Love. Quality arises. That's exactly what you said. You said those quality arises. This quality, this genuine, spontaneous quality came within you by self-reflecting on your situation, asking who self-awareness self is the question of self-awareness. Most of the time, we ask question how we clearly can blame somebody, legally blame somebody, clearly blame somebody, or, I don't know, morally uh, punish somebody. So whatever reason you're asking, it's, it's about somebody. That means, yes, you ask those questions, you might find those answers. Yes, on a superficially you resolve something, but you have not touched at all yourself. You don't, you, 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 have not even acquired that sense of question, of self, self acquiring, self journey. There's no self. It was all focused on somebody else. So that, I think that process is, so, I mean, you, we all know that that's what we're really trying to do, but I think I would re reinforce that, that, that understanding is, clearly three different categories of reflecting on, or three different categories of, on, of um, uh, processing our pain. And definitely lower, intermediate, and higher. And definitely people who do that, they are, they, they are weaker, intermediate and stronger. Development-wise, they are less developed, intermediate developed, higher developed. The best question in a spiritual journey is who is suffering? Who is in pain? Who is thinking? Who is feeling? Who is acting the way it's acting? who is saying the way it's saying, who is feeling the way it's feeling, who is the best question. And the best answer will be not finding anybody. finding unbounded space with infinite possible possibility of quality to manifest. That's all what is there. That's the best answer. <laughs>